Staff Sergeant Frank Wooderich will face a military trial for leading a Marine squad that killed 24 Iraqi men, women, and children. I was, I was a little disappointed today. However, you know, I've been charged for, officially charged for over three years. Investigation's been going on for four years. And uh, I'm actually happy to see that there is a trial date and that this will, you know, be over soon. Wooderich's lawyers had argued that unlawful command influence occurred while a general, James Mattis, was considering a court-martial, and that should prevent a trial. But a judge ruled there was no record of meaningful comment between the general and an aide who had investigated the case. Uh, we're confident that uh, he uh, looked through all the evidence, uh, considered all the evidence, and reached a ruling which he thought was appropriate. We, we respect that decision. And perhaps the, even better than that is he's assured us that he's convinced that uh, a fair trial is possible. And the 30-year-old is one of eight Marines originally charged with murder, failure to investigate the 2005 killings in Haditha. The deaths happened after a Marine was killed by a roadside bomb. Wooderich and a squad member were accused of shooting five men by a car at the scene. Investigators say Wooderich then ordered his men to clear several houses with grenades and gunfire. The criminal charges were issued two years later. Since then, six of the Marines have had charges dropped or dismissed, and one acquitted. Um, it's, it's been, you know, a tough five years. As far as, you know, seeing everyone else uh, kind of exonerated and, and out now, um, you know, I, I'm, <clears throat> I have mixed feelings about it. Wooderich's charges have since been reduced to voluntary manslaughter. He's the only remaining defendant in the biggest criminal case against U.S. troops to arise from the Iraq War. He's currently assigned to work at Camp Pendleton Marine Corps Base. Wooderich is set to be tried in the fall with a jury panel that contains at least one-third enlisted Marines. As far as the events that led him here, his lawyer says he can't make any comment unless he's under oath in a courtroom. John Mell, the Associated Press, Camp Pendleton, California.